Hello everyone and welcome to the 24th video in our survival game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and in this video we are going to take a look at expanding on our time of day script to allow us to change the color of the water so it can fit in with the time of day. So uh, when it's night we are going to have like a uh, dark water, not that saturated and when it's bright uh, or daytime we're gonna have bright and uh, colorful water. So uh, if we open up Unity, you can see that a lot of things has changed here. Wow. Um, I am uh, currently working on a video where I do some time lapsing and then slow down uh, certain parts of the video to show you what I've done here. But basically I've just made a new terrain and uh, don't worry, everything will be shown in the video. It's going to be called uh, Survival Game Level Design uh, 01, I think. Um, so, but I have sculpted and painted a new terrain. Uh, I've added some water uh, from the standard assets pack. I've also made a path and I've included some of the uh, different objects uh, that we uh, imported in the last tutorial. So I've put some of them together and changed them up a bit. And I've also added some particles and some lights and some colliders here and there. And so uh, everything I've done here will again be explained in a future video. So that's going to be really, really awesome. But for now, let's just take a look at how it, it looks. So hit play. And we can see it looks much better now. We have much more detail. We actually uh, are starting to see a level uh, shape uh, type deal going on here. Uh, so if we walk down to the water, and, and this is of course not the finished result, uh, the, the level design video is probably going to be a whole series uh, showing how I'm, uh, what I'm doing to expand on the level. So if we walk down to the water, uh, right now it's, it isn't looking too bad. Keep in mind that this is done with the free version of Unity. And so the uh, water will never get to look really, really awesome. But uh, we can make it look more awesome than this. Because if we change the slider to nighttime and look at the water, it's almost like it's glowing. And that's not really something we want. And if we change it to like midday we can see that the water is then too dark. So uh, I just had to go uh, with a property in between there. So now let's actually modify our time of day script to allow us to change the color of the water. So now let's go ahead and double click on our time of day script. And so now let's go ahead and change this. So um, let me just bring my copy of this up on the other screen so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so uh, at the bottom of the variable declaration here, I want to create several new variables. But first of all, I just want to type out some quick comments saying that this was added in tutorial number 24. It allows uh, for changing the color that reflects of a water object. And just one more comment saying that uncheck include water if you are not interested in using this. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to create a variable that will store uh, our water game object, we are going to create a variable that will allow the user to decide or, or rather you guys uh, to decide whether or not you want to actually use this feature so you can enable and disable it. And uh, then we're going to create two variables, one that would, will define the water night color and one that will define the water day. So now let's go ahead and just do that. So var water water uh, game objects and semicolon, another one called uh, include water 
it's going to be equal to false by default. So you have to enable this feature as we will get a null reference if we haven't uh, assigned anything to the game object. And so it will just give us a bunch of errors. So uh, the user or you guys <laughs> have to decide whether or not you want to use this before you assign stuff. Uh, then we're going to have one called water night, which is going to be a, a type color and then a water day, which is also going to be a type color. So now I'll save this out. And now we should be able to go back into unity and see some variables appearing at the button here. So we have the water game object. We have a checkbox if we want to include the water and we have then two color properties, which you can just click and set or use the uh, color picker here to choose anything from the scene. So uh, let's actually go ahead and set this up. So let's drag in the start area water here. So uh, that's just the water object. And of course, you can make multiple of these variables and just assign it to all of them. If you have if you have more than one uh, uh, water place or C or whatever. Uh, so time of day and then drag in the start area water to the water variable, hit the include water. And uh, now let's change the water night to completely black and the water day to something like a bright blue, I would say. So something like that. And again, you can just go ahead and change, uh, change it to whatever you want. Uh, that's completely up to you. Now let's go down to where uh, actually let's go down to right under the sun dot color equals color dot loop and make some space and let's type uh, let's actually come uh, copy these comments down also so just so we're completely clear that people are understanding this and so if uh, include water is equal to true. Then we want to do something here. Oops. Get a hold of the bracket keys. There we go. And what we want to happen is we want to take our water dot renderer. So the one that stores stuff like materials, shaders, and so on dot material we want to access the material and we want to set a color for it so set color and then open up a parentheses and this is where we're going to access a shader property and we have never talked about uh shaders and, and scripting custom shaders and so on before but basically what a shader property is is um it's a uh it's a variable for the shader basically so it uh just like we can have um uh, check boxes and color stuff going on here we can have a property in a shader called for example color or um blend amount reflectivity amount uh transparency and so on. So uh, we are simply going to type start parentheses and then underscore horizon color comma and now we want to set it. So this is what it's called for the shader that basic water uses and uh, we can go in and find this inside of unity. So we can go under our assets our day night no on uh, our standard assets and this is where I have imported the uh, water by press right clicking, hitting import package, and then water basic. And if we import the water pro, we can see if this uses the same kind of shader. So if we just hit import on that and wait for it to import correctly, should see it being done in a sec. Um, so I really recommend that if this is not working for you, you go ahead and check whether or not the property is called the same. So if we go under the water basic, select the day, uh, daylight symbol water, we can see that it is using the water symbol shader. 
And so under sources and under shaders, we can see here the effects order symbol. And there's a, uh, a category here called properties. And the first one is indeed called horizon color. And we can see that it's a, a type color. So if we go back, uh, we can see that the nighttime uh, symbol border uses the same one. And we can also see that if we go under our pro and hit the daylight water, it uses the effects water. So if we go under sources here, under shaders, hit the effects water. It is here called the, let's see, horizon color there. So that's also called horizon color. And uh, we also have the water for and so on. So you can go ahead and find it by doing this. So go under the different kinds of water here and changing that up. So here, I don't know if it's called Horizon, but uh, you can, I'm sure you can find it on your own. So let's delete out the Water Pro. Go back to the Water Basic. Go under our time of day. And now let's just uh, finish the script up. So Horizon Color, comma, color dot loop. Parentheses, water, night, comma, water, day, comma, slider, two, times two, minus zero point two, end up the parentheses, and end with the semicolon. So I won't go into too much detail here, but basically this line allows the color to lerp or fade between the water night and the water day based on our slider values. So now if we go in back into Unity, hit the play button, I can see we have an error. So let's check that out. Water base editor. This is something to do with the water pro, which we, enabled, uh, we imported. So let's just go ahead and delete the editor version there too. So go under the editor, hit delete that. So now that that's done, we should be able to play the game. Indeed we are. And if we walk down to the water and maybe change the speed variable of our time of day. So go under our time of day and change this to something like 30. So we can see it changing quickly. You can see that the color of the water now fits the day much more nicely and everything blends together. It's not like it's shining and, uh, and glowing. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.